A controversial plan to develop more housing in Ashland gets put on hold, at least for now. The decision was made at last night's city council meeting and the news has many residents breathing a sigh of relief. It's really peaceful and beautiful there. Taking in the trees, the birds and the beauty of Ashland. It's part of why we buy property to live here. That's why Julie Matthews and many of her fellow neighbors off Clay Street near Normal Avenue are happy about the city council's decision last night to delay a roughly 94-acre project to create more housing. The biggest issue is how are we going to pay for it? Carol Voison says specifically how to get developers to pay for the project. In addition, she says the council wants to address residents' concerns. Well, the areas we want to work on are transportation. East Main needs to be pedestrian friendly as well as bike friendly. The second thing we need to work on is the density. The third thing is wetland and open space and we want to protect that. According to Voison, a committee will be put together to look into those issues and many others. We're probably about a year, year and a half out. Anything happening. And that's okay with Julie Matthews. I felt really relieved that no decisions were made. But what I see is a really great possibility to work together as a community to design something different than the same old, same old. Matthews, open to change. And at the same time, she's hoping for an opportunity to keep Ashland, Ashland, by preserving the unique qualities so many people love about the area. The area in question is pretty expansive. It stretches from just past Ashland Middle School all the way to Clay Street and from East Main to the railroad tracks.